Hey everybody, welcome to Creating with Love. Um, as I was telling you for the past two weeks, I have been trying to make, well I've been, I finally succeeded in finishing. So, I made a recipe book for my daughter. It's a junk journal slash glue book. That's what I believe it is. That's what uh, it's going to have to be. Um, it is one heck of a project that I, I put myself through. <laughs> and um, I constructed everything by myself. Except for two things. There are two folders that were constructed with my grandchildren. My grandson made this folder. Um, and he collaged with me. I showed him how to collage. And then we put lace on the edgings like this. Lace on the edgings. Okay. And then today I just put these, these in so that if she has extra recipes like this, this is a ripped page from a book. She could just slip them in here. Let's see, that was too flimsy. She could just slip the recipe in here. Okay. And she can have many recipes in here. Um, I'm thinking of putting extra paper in here in, in the middle. Tie -dyed, tea dyed paper, maybe four pages so that she can paste more. But anyways, my grandson who was eight helped me make this. Okay. And my granddaughter on the last signature the uh, collaged folder she helped me make that she's only two so this is this is the book that I was working on for my daughter Christina she has three children um, this cover fell off of a French cookbook and I made this little cover for the um, for the banner that was over here um, and I put her initials on there okay I popped up the cover I layered it um, on a aqua green piece of paper I layered the picture on aqua green and then silver so I thought that would go pretty well and then I popped it up on some you know the Dollar Tree real thin mounting tape. I'll show you what it is. This. All right. I still have one roll left. I used a lot of it on this project. And then I popped up her little label thing right here. So on the side here, it's two inches. The, the uh, spine is two inches. It's an inside spine with one, two, let me flip it this way so you can see it better. It's an inside spine with one, two, three signatures. I fussy cut the letters out from my floral romance hot buy paper from last year. Okay. And she chose all the papers and they come from various hot buy pads and some tea dye papers and all that. So I'm not going to explain all that. I'm just going to explain what's inside. Okay. Um, so the ribbon goes underneath the picture and then it goes underneath the material that she chose that I glued everything with um, fabric glue from AC Moore, I need to get more because I love using fabric. And on the inside, the same fabric holds the spine on the inside together. I constructed this out of white cardboard, uh, two pieces each, the cover, all right? So it'll be nice, nice and sturdy, listen. All right, so it's nice and sturdy. And the spine was constructed of two pieces. Um, all I did was glue them together and then cut them. 
I had to wait. They had to sit overnight under a book so they wouldn't be all warped. And then on the inside, on the spine, I made another one right here, as you can see. Okay, I didn't, I didn't cover that. But um, I covered that with paper that goes with the material. All right, so on the cover here, on the inside cover, some of these pictures and like this comes from a large folder that I, it was a, an advertising book that was sent to my mom in the 1980s for a 1950s vintage book. Okay, this was just an ad, so I used most of the pictures out of the Betty Crocker cookbook, and then I used more pictures from some of the cookbooks that fell apart. These were old cookbooks, and they were from the 1965. The first printing was 1954 to 1965. So here is another um, collaged uh, these collaged cards and folders that I made were made from a piece of paper like this. All I did was lay them down like this after I cut them apart, put them close together, and then I collaged them together, okay, and let them dry under a heavy book, and this is what I got. So I also went through all of my cookbooks, cut out what she likes, because I asked her what she likes. She likes shrimp recipes, so that I'm giving her shrimp recipes, okay? And I made a banner across here that will hold this card in. Then as you go here, this is like a large tuck spot made out of vellum, okay? And they love lamb, so I found lots and lots of recipes with lamb. I stuck one in here. And then here's a Hungarian goulash. This is on a original recipe card. And I covered this because it, it said, you know, breakfast. But I didn't want this for breakfast. Then I, um, I kind of ripped, you know, the edges. I got to fix this. It could just come off. Um... So this is out of a book that was from 1956. A lot of the recipes are. And this I just distressed and pasted on here. Veal and spaghetti and then Hungarian goulash with noodles. And then here's another book from Betty Crocker. So we're going to keep going. This was the first recipe card I made. And I took a picture and put it in back. And then I put I put the recipe for Cornish hens with barley mushroom stuffing. Okay. And then I just made this with my um it's a six by six. And I just cut these out, the scallop shapes out, and this with my scallop scissors. I made a pocket here, and I lined them with the lace that I had gotten from my mom's uh, thrift store. And then on this side is just coffee paper, coffee and tea dyed paper. And some of them were ripping on the edges, so you'll see washi tape throughout this whole thing. And here's the piece of ephemera that I got from um, Damask Love. Okay, these are the stickers I didn't use because this got real big real fast. It got filled up. So I used the flat pieces of ephemera through here. This picture right here, this picture, um, my mom gave me a box of recipes that she had and I had to pour through them meaning going through them. This was a piece of paper that fell from an old, old recipe book from, I don't, I think it's like the early 40s. And I just cut out the picture because the whole piece of paper was falling apart. And I had to glue it on another piece of paper and put glue over it so it wouldn't fall apart anymore. 
okay? And that's what I did there. I hope my daughter cherishes this. So Mary's shrimp in bread cup, cups and, and then bacon-wrapped um, scallops, okay? I found many recipes. Okay, and here's shrimp enchiladas. This is a uh, ledger from um, teacher notebook, tea dye paper, and here's some more paper that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to go flip through superb seafood, and that's a whole recipe, James crab meat pie, and this is from that book I was telling you about that I got most of the recipes out of from, I don't know, and then open face smoked salmon sandwiches. Um, over here and then here's some more salmon recipes because my son-in-law her husband loves recipes for salmon he likes salmon and here's another one this is a flip out and this was um, a mailable um, make it your you know these are one of those like pieces of note paper that you could just you could just fold up and it is marked for for mailing you just write a letter in it fold it up seal it it doesn't go in an envelope and you just mail it so most of these papers are what she chose and here is one of those um, treat bags that I got and I put another recipe inside of it poached salmon with creamy custard sauce and then on the other side is salmon stack up supper and I made this into a pocket and there are two more in here like that and the other signatures one more each chicken broccoli spiced mushrooms instant or island chick style chicken and here's a piece of ephemera that I put in here that I did not age I'm sorry <laughs> I was just getting tired of doing the book. Um, chicken noodle soup. So as you can see, she can glue. She has other spaces to either write or glue the recipes. I, If I were her, I'd write them down because this is real fat now. She could write another one here. Here are some Smucker's recipes right here that were on the lids that my mom took a... Uh, thing of and she saved them for many years she took a photocopy orange chicken and then we have a doily and then I kind of imprinted the doily as I dabbed on the you know the distressed ink through the doily with my dabber then there's a long pocket here and you just take out the card okay and you open the card there are two recipes in the card and a recipe on back okay and that's a beautiful card and that was in my stash of cards I just figured that's gonna go with the book and then lace trim and throughout this you're gonna see lace trim everywhere okay so here is another card recipe card I made and then on the back is a recipe for all-american meatloaf Okay, so she'll know how to make that. She did not learn how to cook because she had a, she gets the willies from touching meat. So she refused to learn how to cook for a long time. Marinated steak, beef pot roast, um, beef stroganoff with rice. Rolled stuffed meatloaf. And you know what, guys? Hold on. So <clears throat> in this jar here, is a bunch of rubber gloves that people gave me for tie-dyeing shirts and I never used them and I have a bunch more put away so she can use these rubber gloves to touch the meat and then throw it away throw the gloves away so this is going to go with her recipe book a couple of these pairs of gloves are gonna go with her recipe book um, in Let's see. I'm going to put them in one of these bags and just roll it up. I'm going to show you one of these. Because she loves these colors. So I'm going to put at least four pair in here. So she knows what to get. 
All right, so we're gonna keep going. A lot of these are my tea dyed papers that I really enjoy dyeing, and they are really, really nice looking. Okay, and so I took, this is a Hobby Lobby piece of um, paper from a paper pad that I got. Um, remember that vintage one I showed you? Then I took, this is true vintage paper, and then I distressed the edges of it, but it is true vintage paper that came out of that box of recipes that I told you I got from my mom. And I fussy cut all these little guys out from the recipe book that fell apart, okay? And then lamb curry, Maggie's lamb chops, orange lamb shoulder chops, and here's another. And I just thought these were so cute. My daughter loved them when I showed them the images and she wanted them. So here's another image. Isn't that adorable? So this is a pocket and there is a pocket in the middle of every single, um, yeah, every single signature. So we're gonna keep flipping. Then we have, we have an envelope here that I doubled over and I made two pockets and then a pocket on top out of paper with, and I lined each pocket with paper. So there's tags in each one of them. This one, this tag opens up, okay, like that. It has two recipes in it for ham, okay. And I didn't mark this for their sections. She'll just know. Meat, vegetables, and desserts. So veal roast. All the signatures have their own categories. So this is meat. And here's another picture. And I just thought all these papers, this paper pad that I got from Joann's, that was on clearance that went with the ephemera through here just went so well with all these pictures all right so we're gonna keep going okay so here's another one and this came out of that vintage paper pad that I got it wasn't really vintage but it's vintage looking and then she loved the butterflies so we put that on I put that on and beef and brew stuffed potatoes and just keep flipping here's the washi tape I told you I had to put on the edges of some of the papers because they were ripping on the edges and I don't want her book to rip so here's more washi tape I do have washi tape but I don't use it a lot because I really don't like it the only thing I use it for is to maybe put borders on things or to prevent ripping pages um, so here's another one of those mailer card things that fold out. I used it as a fold out in here. Okay, so, uh, no, that's the other portion of it. Here's another crock, uh, Betty Crocker, um, picture from that advertising book that my mom got. Here's another, uh, picture, and this is one of the you know yeah tuck spots pocket tuck spots and a recipe card that I have left over from making her the envelope flip book just figured she liked the bigger paper and it goes well with all the distressing and everything else in here and then here's another pocket out of vellum and you have I have three signatures that have vellum pockets on them and I didn't put a recipe on this one. So this one is vegetables and potatoes. Here's another pocket here. Not pocket. Um, I forget. You know, I should know what I called these because I was calling these so I wouldn't forget. But um, more recipe card here. She can just write it on, write on it. And um, this is something that I... My mom had a typewriter when I was younger, and I just started doing recipes. So this one is sweet potato casserole. 
I distressed this a little more even though it's old. Look at, there's numbers on there and everything. It's like a ledger. So I did not glue this on anything. I just used it as a recipe card and slipped it in here. And here's another recipe card in back of it. And we're gonna keep going. We are at 20 minutes, guys. Here's another recipe card. This was old um, wrapping paper. And my mom had a paper that had thread sewn through it, so I used that. And then I fussy cut a hummingbird. You can see that, right? So, and then here's more Betty Cracker. And here's that ephemera that I was talking about. It's dotted all the way through here. And here is another recipe card like the other with one recipe in it but I didn't put another. She can put one in there and one on the back. So that's going to go in here like that. And it really goes well together. It's really beautiful. Okay, so uh, here's a large recipe that I pasted on the side here. Glued. And more coffee dyed ledger paper. Here's a couple more pieces. Here's another recipe for uh, garlic thyme mashed potatoes, original green bean casserole, and inside if you flip it out, baked green bean fries. So they can learn how to make green bean fries. And those are like old <laughs> recipes that I don't know of. Here's another picture from one of the I fussy cut out from one of the um, cookbooks that cookbook that fell apart more papers and I can't get these apart and I don't want to here we go here is from that paper pad that I got from Joann's and I really love this one I still got a lot left my daughter fell in love with it here's a lemon oh I forgot to put a ribbon on this one I'm going to have to come back and I put barley vegetable soup on the end, you know, ending of this one. Um, this is part of the, uh, right here, this edging right here is um, one of my thrift hauls. So this is a little tuck spot I made. I just fussy cut a lemon out and you'll see another one in here. And a recipe card with summer vegetable medley on it and it, it's appropriate because it has it's got a vegetable card on it so you keep flipping and flipping she's got lots of spaces to write recipes I put a beat here should distress these but I just didn't I needed a to make this video I distressed this but this came out of a really old book that I just absconded from my mother and it was falling apart, so I took the pages, and I, I put a little hole here. I poked a hole with my hole poker, and then I used a brad to keep them together. And it goes in this pocket right here that she can um, just pull this out and use it. All those are like scallop cabbage, scallop cabbage with cheese and tomatoes, savory red cabbage, cauliflower, baked Custard. Um, most of these are supposed to be, all right, stuffed eggplant are supposed to be um, veggies. So this is a veg. we're in the middle thing with vegetables. Here's another. And then more recipe and then a, a recipe card in a tuck spot. Like I said, there was another tuck spot I made like that. With two recipes in here, Spanish green peas and split pea soup. So you notice how I try to bunch the vegetables together for her. This one doesn't have a recipe. It's a pocket with a card in it. She could just put a, a recipe on it. We're just going to keep flipping. Flip, flip. And here's one of those car, um, one of those little envelopes. And then I put rice salads in there. Okay, so here's another envelope. I didn't put one on this one. She can do that. And then more pages. And then 
uh, roasted broccoli with walnut nuts and carrots and here's another picture up here and another recipe uh, carrots and sauce and you just keep going here's a recipe card I cut out of that Joanne's thing uh, paper pad here's a little beater from the ephemera pack here's another card that I made has a recipe on it green beans with shallot sauce it's not supposed to be there <laughs> I think I was just thinking too quick oh yeah it is this is the third signature here's another um, couple of banners that go across that hold recipes in here's a recipe that I had made when I was 16 and I aged it and I put a little piece of egg ephemera on it and I would use all these cards that had stuff on the back so I really did not um, ruin these cards by pasting them in so here's another vellum southern cream drops okay and um, here's another packet I made and I lined it with lace and here's another card I'm not sure yeah there's fudgy oatmeal squares the recipe here and then the, the instructions okay so she can use either side for another recipe and just stick recipes in the pocket behind it and I use some lace I used some ribbon from the uh, thrift shop that I just recently got. Here is another recipe card that I wrote as a child. Okay. I don't know why I was doing that, but my mom saved them and just gave them to me. And here's another recipe card from the paper pad from Joann's the cooking paper pad and here's an, a little lady down here with a pie so I tried to do appropriate pictures with the appropriate spaces so I wrote this out by hand when I was about 16 beer bread I used to love baking beer bread okay take a picture of that and try that bread because it is good put it on pause and copy it that's a real good bread. And if I could eat wheat now, I would have some. I would make some. It's easy, too. All right. Here's another recipe from Smuckers. And I put a peanut butter icon over here. Piece of ephemera with honey here. These cakes taste like from scratch because they are from scratch. So everything she's making here will be from scratch. Here's some scones. Here's another recipe fold out. Butterscotch cheesecake bars. Butterscotch brownies. I used to make butter, butterscotch brownies all the time. Here's a little measuring cup here. More washi tape. More washi tape. See, these were ripping and I kind of fixed them kind of here's some more um ephemera i cut out from the cookbook more papers we could flip doily here's another envelope i made and more pieces that i cut out from um from the old time pack that i got from joann's and then i pasted a recipe here things to uh remember to bring and then it says fudgies and it's the recipe so she can make that for a party and uh, as you keep flipping you just come into more tea dyed paper you have the grid and lined and all of that and then more tea dyed um, this I distressed and it's from that pack that I was telling you about from Joann's the large one um, here this is a little book called the cookie jar that I just slipped in there I don't want to touch it I don't want to age it I think that this is vintage enough and it's from Dixie Crystals sugar and I I have never seen them I think when I was little I did but I haven't seen them lately so 
Um, that's real old. I'm not real old, but that is a old, older product. So I made this. She liked this girl, and I just stop it. Hold on. Hold on. Sit down. Good girl. Oh, my kitty wants to get on me. So I made this. And this is for, you know, the dessert section. I used the one that had fruits and veggies on it. And then here's watermelon frozen yogurt pop and another huge card in the back that I made. That she can paste a recipe on. And I distressed everything. This is why it took me two weeks. So, and here's a thing here. And then... Another recipe here, banana pudding, and then we're just going to flip real quick because I only have three minutes left, guys. Okay, so here's another picture I found, another blender chocolate cheesecake, another packet, okay, and another packet, Greek cheesecake, there's another thing that I meant, stuffed, stuffed dates, and then another thing I wrote out as a kid, and I gave it to her, and that's the end, okay, so if you guys liked this uh, video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your comments and suggestions help and encourage me. Hit the bell for notifications to be notified when I put up new content. Sit down. Read the links below and come and join my group on Facebook. And in the name of Jesus, God, please protect us from this new virus coming into the United States. Abolish it and kill it off in the name of Jesus. God bless all of you, and guys, keep creating with love. Bye.